Hi, I'm John Tyler, as you already know, and I'm talking today about the economy, which you already know is really as bad as it's ever been. I'm an old guy, and this is the worst economy I've ever seen. But President Joe Biden has an answer for why the price of gas is up, the price of food's up, the price of everything else is up. Let's listen to that for just a moment. The reason why gas prices are up is because of Russia. Russia, Russia, Russia. The reason why the food crisis exists is because of Russia. Russia not allowing grain to get out of Ukraine. No, this all started during the first week of the Biden administration. And even prior to his being elected, he said that he would shut down the Keystone Pipeline. As you can see above, he did. He shut down, let's see, more than 20 Republican-led states sued Biden for canceling the XL pipeline. Day one. So he shut down the oil pipeline. Number two, Biden administration cancels the Alaska oil and gas lease sale. First 100 days in office. All of, so he shut down oil production, basically and you can't drill anymore in government-owned lands, so forth and so on. Then the third step he did right after that is he began to beg Saudi Arabia, Russia, and everyone else for oil. How much sense does that make? Now, as I've pointed out before, oil and gas is what runs the American economy. Plain and simple, wind power doesn't run it, oil and gas, gas for automobiles, diesel fuel for trucks, planes, trains, whatever. And if the price of gas goes from $1.79, which it was in uh, the Trump era, let's call it that, that's what I paid in North Carolina, $1.79 a gallon, and it went to four sixty-five dollars a gallon, well, diesel, price, diesel prices are five sixty-five dollars in North Carolina, and elsewhere it's even more money. So when the price of fuel goes up, the price of shipping goes up. When the price of shipping goes up, the price of everything they deliver goes up. Who pays for these price increases? You do. So it wasn't Russia, Russia, Russia. It was Biden, Biden, Biden. And if killing oil wasn't good enough for Biden, he also said, well, here's the headline, SCOTUS, that's the Supreme Court of the United States, be damned, Biden's EPA plunges ahead with plans to kill coal. So let's see, he wants to kill oil, natural gas, oil, uh, coal, and he says Russia, Russia, Russia is to blame. Biden has said on the record, you know, gas prices are where they ought to be, meaning his Green New Deal is all about getting rid of fossil fuels completely and going into wind power and solar. Well, that could be five, ten years from now. So expect to see while the Biden administration is in charge, unless the election of 2022, the midterms, change to where the House and the Senate flip to Republican, then the Biden administration is going to continue to see, and so are we, gas prices and everything else rise with the cost of fuel. Now, from the New York Post, which isn't exactly a Republican periodical, they say this, Biden praises high gas prices as part of the incredible transition from fossil fuels to the so-called Clean Energy Act. Uh, so, there's the answer, plain and simple. Gas prices are where they are, not because of Russia, 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 but because of Biden, 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 and a Republican Congress, and a bunch of rhinos in the Senate. That's uh, Republican in name only. So, what does the average person on the street in New Jersey think about the gas prices right now? I don't think they're too happy. Let's listen in. They're way too high. Extremely out of control. Ridiculous. 
the system should not be allowed whatsoever. It's been steadily getting higher and higher every month for this new administration. It almost doubled since Joe Biden got in office. In the gas is absurd, and this is terrible. I have to park my car around here walking around because I can't afford the gas. I'm making 1950 an hour. That's it. Well, my friends, there is only one solution, one, to prevent this crisis, the economic crisis in America, <clears throat> and stemming from America across the world. There's only one way to stop it, and you have to identify first the cause. We already know that the cause of inflation stems from fuel shortages and price hikes do uh, to Biden's cutting off the oil, coal, and natural gas um, that Americans have to have to travel. Uh, truck drivers need to have lower prices so that they can, they don't have to charge the high prices for delivery of goods. And then the people that own the goods, it costs much more because of fuel prices skyrocketing. So if you identify the problem, then you have one solution. I googled, what does it take to stop this economic crisis in America? And there were hundreds of answers, but there's only one. One, identify the problem. The problem is Joe Biden. And how do you stop the Joe Biden from continuing this disastrous affair uh, that is uh, surrounding him and coming from him in the White House out to us, the poor people in America. This, the solution is that there are three branches of government and you have to have, well, there's the president first of all, there's the Supreme Court and then there's the House, which is the Congress and the Senate. If Republicans and Democrats and independents get out and stop sitting at, uh, on the couch at home. If you get out in November and tear up any ballots that come to you in the mail, if you get out and vote for Republican House and a Republican Senate, that's the only way that you, that you and I can stop this madness that's going to continue. The White House and the media, that's their puppets or vice versa, but they're, good. they're using now Roe versus Wade to excite everybody and, and get everybody pitted against one another. And they're saying, get out and vote. Their vote is for Roe v. Wade. Roe v. Wade is not at the top of the list of voters. The economy and how it affects our bread and butter, the table at home. That's the number one reason people will go out and vote. It's not Roe versus Wade, although that's the attempt of the Democrats because they know that the House is going to flip and the Senate is going to flip unless they can come up with these Roe v. Wade situations and uh, try to get all of the abortion uh, proponents out to vote. That's going to happen anyway, but not all women, men, and voters are, um, are, uh, are in favor of abortion. A lot of them are in favor of life. That said, everybody, I don't care who you are, if you can vote, black, white, Hispanic, whatever, Asian, if you're an American and you get out and vote for a Republican flip in the House and in the Senate, they can stop Joe Biden's efforts to screw up the economy even further. So that's it. That's one solution. Take it or leave it. You already know in your heart that's exactly the only way you can stop this from exacerbating and causing you more money. I think they said the average uh, voter out there is losing between $3,500 and $6,000 a year just in inflation, which is a pay cut, really. Come on. 
If stuff costs more, it comes out of your wallet. You get paid 20 bucks an hour and uh, gasoline is six, seven, eight dollars a gallon. That's like you're taking your cash that you just got paid and you're paying at the pump and then you're paying at the grocery store and you're paying higher taxes. Let's stop this nonsense. There's only one solution and I pointed it out. With that, I'll see you later. If you have any comments, be sure to put them in. I'll post them. Whether you hate my guts or you don't, I'll post them. And just so you know, as I close, the, the latest thing I'm seeing in the news at night is this big push that this Omicron virus, BA4, BA5, is now fast approaching. Look at the headline. New Omicron subvariant BA5, now a majority of U.S. COVID-19 cases. And then they're talking about having uh, more vaccinations coming by November. Gee, November, isn't that a time that we go out to vote? Oh, yeah, it is, isn't it? So to me, that's the next tactic. Keep people at home, scare the crap out of them, tell them Omicron, BA5, and subvariants of it will really hit hard this fall. So you're better off not to go out in the public, especially to go out to vote. Uh, so we're going to have to send out mail-in ballots. The same old crap. It's called cheat like a son of a gun. See you next time.